Okay guys, so for the most part, the purpose of this video was to build a burner that outperforms this thing right here. As you can see, this thing has some alignment issues. These nozzles are out of alignment. So this thing just doesn't behave the way it was intended to. opinion just out of alignment a little bit um, I do have footage of this thing burning but we've been testing it and some boilers and we're not happy with its performance all right fellas this is the first test of an experimental ring burner I told you it's kind of scary. <laughs> I'm going to have to add more holes. Or maybe some gauze. So the spud is very small. Maybe that's inducing the high velocities more so than the small apertures. These outer holes are right on the rim of the vortex there. So they may be problematic. They could be shooting fuel into, they are aimed in this direction by the way. They're aimed at a 45 degree angle inwards. Everything else is in a spiral except for this center area. Um, the center here has an old rocket engine design. It's got the concave spud there with jets aiming at itself. Alright guys, we're at a two millimeter orifice now on the spud. And I am terrified of this thing. Okay, I'm seeing improvement. Yep. It hasn't exploded on me yet. It's about to, but watch when I light these two. Nope. Okay. We're not getting the air we want, though. The spiral seems to be working out. I wish I'd have done them all in the spiral. high velocity flame let's face it I'm about ready to go with a blower on this thing however if we put more holes in there we'll reduce the velocity big time all right guys I just drilled about 60,000 holes at an angle
gonna blow up on me again. Here we go. So I think we don't have enough fuel. We got too much air now. I haven't tried uh, blocking the air yet. It's too hot. We gotta go. size there guys that ain't cool keep it place on fire. 